Arresting cables or arrestor wires are essential components on aircraft carriers, enabling the safe landing of jets. These steel cables catch the aircraft's tail hook, decelerating it from high speeds to a stop within a short distance. The effectiveness of this system is crucial for operations on the confined deck space of an aircraft carrier. Number 1. How Arresting Cables Function Arresting cables on aircraft carriers are a marvel of engineering designed to halt aircraft within a short distance. These cables, made of high-strength steel, span across the deck and are connected to advanced hydraulic or mechanical braking systems below deck. When a landing aircraft's tailhook catches one of these cables, the energy from the moving plane is transferred to the arresting gear system, which dissipates it through hydraulic fluid or mechanical means, safely stopping the aircraft. The system includes multiple cables to provide redundancy and increase the chances of a successful arrestment. Each cable is meticulously maintained and regularly inspected to ensure its integrity. The braking system below the deck consists of energy absorbers that can be either hydraulic dampers or mechanical engines, which convert the kinetic energy of the aircraft into heat, allowing for controlled deceleration. A critical aspect of the arresting cable system is its ability to handle various aircraft weights and landing speeds. This is achieved through adjustable dampers that can be calibrated based on the type of aircraft and its landing conditions. The cables are also pretensioned to a specific degree to ensure they can withstand the immense forces exerted during an aircraft landing. Modern advancements have led to the development of the Advanced Arresting Gear, AAG, which uses electromagnetic technology to provide more precise control over the deceleration process. This system enhances the safety and reliability of aircraft landings, reducing the mechanical stress on the cables and allowing for smoother, more consistent operations. Maintenance crews undergo rigorous training to handle the arresting cables, ensuring they can respond quickly to any issues that arise. This includes regular drills and simulations to keep their skills sharp and prepare for emergencies. The importance of the arresting cable system cannot be overstated, as it is crucial for the safety of both the aircraft and the crew on the carrier deck. Number 2. The Incident – Cable Breakage and Its Immediate Aftermath on March 18, 2016, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower experienced a significant incident when an arresting cable snapped during the landing of an E-2 Seahawk Eye. This event, known as a cable breakage, had immediate and dramatic consequences. As the aircraft approached for landing, the tailhook engaged the arresting cable, but the cable unexpectedly broke under the immense stress. The broken cable lashed back across the flight deck, creating chaos and posing a severe threat to personnel and equipment. The cable, made of high-strength steel, recoiled with tremendous force, injuring several deck crew members. Injuries ranged from cuts and bruises to more severe fractures and dislocations. The whipping cable also caused significant damage to two other aircraft on the deck, a VRC-40 Rawhide C-2A Greyhound and an HSC-7 Dusty Dogs MH-60R Nighthawk. The sudden breakage created a hazardous situation, demanding immediate emergency response from the crew. The E-2C Hawkeye, momentarily out of control, dipped dangerously close to the ocean. The pilots, displaying remarkable skill and composure, managed to regain control and diverted the aircraft to Naval Station Norfolk. This quick thinking prevented a potentially catastrophic crash into the sea. Back on the carrier, the flight deck was a scene of urgency, as medical teams attended to the injured and damage control teams assessed and began repairs. The incident highlighted the critical importance of regular maintenance and inspection of arresting gear systems. An investigation revealed that improper servicing of the arresting gear earlier in the day contributed to the cable failure. This led to a comprehensive review and overhaul of maintenance protocols to prevent future occurrences. The event was a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in carrier operations and the need for stringent safety measures. The aftermath also included a psychological impact on the crew who had to continue operations shortly after the incident. Debriefings and support were essential to address the stress and trauma experienced by those involved. The Navy's commitment to safety and resilience was evident as operations resumed, demonstrating the rigorous training and preparedness of the crew. Number three, consequences of a cable break. When an arresting cable breaks on an aircraft carrier, the consequences are immediate and potentially catastrophic. 
The most visible and immediate danger is the recoiling cable, which can whip across the flight deck with immense force. This cable, often made of high-strength steel, acts like a giant uncontrolled whip, posing a severe threat to anyone in its path. Crew members on the flight deck can suffer from serious injuries such as fractures, dislocations, deep lacerations, and even life-threatening trauma. Protective gear like helmets and body armor offers some protection but cannot fully mitigate the risks posed by the high-speed snapping cable. Beyond personal injuries, a broken cable can cause significant damage to other aircraft on the deck. For instance, the recoiling cable can hit parked aircraft, damaging critical components such as wings, tails, and fuselages. This not only leads to costly repairs, but also takes those aircraft out of commission, affecting the operational readiness of the carrier. The immediate aftermath also includes the risk to the landing aircraft. If the arresting cable breaks, the aircraft may fail to decelerate in time, potentially leading to it overshooting the deck and crashing into the sea. Pilots must act swiftly, relying on their training to either power back up for a go-around or eject if the situation becomes uncontrollable. In cases where pilots manage to regain control, as seen in some incidents, they may divert to a nearby airbase for an emergency landing, which adds to the operational complexity and requires coordination with ground support teams. The psychological impact on the crew is another significant consequence. Witnessing such a traumatic event can lead to stress, anxiety, and a decrease in morale. The crew must quickly regain composure to continue flight operations, which can be challenging after such a high-stress event. Debriefing sessions and psychological support are critical to help the crew process the incident and recover mentally. In the long term, an incident like this triggers thorough investigations to determine the root cause of the cable failure. These investigations often reveal issues such as improper maintenance, material fatigue, or manufacturing defects. Findings from these investigations lead to changes in maintenance protocols, material specifications, and operational procedures to prevent future occurrences. The carrier might also undergo an operational pause to inspect and, if necessary, replace other cables and related equipment. Operational readiness is temporarily affected as flight operations may be suspended or limited until the carrier is deemed safe. This can impact mission timelines and the carrier's role in broader naval operations. The Navy's response to such incidents is critical, as it involves not just immediate medical and technical interventions, but also strategic adjustments to maintain operational effectiveness. Number four, impact on operations and safety measures. A cable break on an aircraft carrier significantly impacts both immediate and long-term operations, necessitating swift and thorough responses. Firstly, flight operations are halted to address the immediate danger and assess the damage. This suspension ensures no further aircraft attempts to land, avoiding additional risks. Crew members must quickly secure the flight deck, tend to any injuries, and clear debris, all while managing the psychological stress of the incident. Immediate operational readiness is compromised as the broken cable and any affected arresting gear components require inspection, repair, or replacement. The carrier's operational tempo slows, impacting mission timelines and coordination with other naval assets. For example, during the incident on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, operations were suspended until the damage was assessed and repairs were completed, affecting the carrier's deployment schedule. The incident prompts a thorough investigation to determine the cause of the failure. Findings from such investigations often lead to enhanced maintenance protocols and updated safety measures. For instance, if a cable break is traced back to material fatigue or improper servicing, maintenance routines are revised to prevent recurrence. Regular inspections become more rigorous and any detected flaws are promptly addressed. Safety measures extend beyond technical adjustments. Crew training programs are intensified, focusing on emergency response procedures for cable break incidents. These programs include drills that simulate cable failures, helping crew members practice swift and coordinated responses. The aim is to minimize injuries and damage, ensuring that all personnel know their roles and can act quickly under pressure. Technological advancements play a crucial role in improving safety and operational resilience. The introduction of the Advanced Arresting Gear, AAG system, is a significant upgrade. 
AAG uses electromagnetic technology to provide smoother, more controlled deceleration of landing aircraft, reducing mechanical stress on cables. This technology not only enhances safety, but also increases the lifespan of arresting gear components, thereby reducing the likelihood of future failures. Continuous monitoring and data analysis are implemented to predict potential failures before they occur. Sensors and diagnostic tools are used to track the performance and condition of arresting cables and related equipment. This proactive approach allows for preemptive maintenance, addressing issues before they escalate into critical failures. The impact on operations extends to the strategic level. A carrier temporarily out of action affects naval readiness and the broader mission objectives. Contingency plans must be activated, including deploying backup assets or reassigning missions to other vessels. The overall effectiveness of the carrier group is momentarily reduced, which can have wider implications depending on the geopolitical context. The response to a cable break is multifaceted, involving immediate action, thorough investigation, enhanced training, and technological upgrades. These measures collectively aim to restore and improve the carrier's operational capability, ensuring such incidents are managed effectively and with minimal disruption to naval operations. Number 5. Technological Advancements and Future Improvements Technological advancements in aircraft carrier arresting gear systems have significantly improved safety and operational efficiency. The most notable development is the Advanced Arresting Gear AAG system, which utilizes electromagnetic technology instead of traditional hydraulic systems. This technology allows for more precise control over the deceleration process, adapting dynamically to different aircraft weights and landing speeds. The result is a smoother, more reliable arrestment process, reducing mechanical stress on both the aircraft and the cables. AAG's electromagnetically controlled braking system provides consistent performance and requires less maintenance compared to hydraulic systems. This reduces downtime and increases the carrier's operational readiness. The AAG system also integrates advanced diagnostics, which continuously monitor the system's performance, allowing for predictive maintenance. By identifying potential issues before they become critical, the system helps prevent unexpected failures and enhances overall safety. Another significant advancement is the development of synthetic materials for arresting cables. These materials offer higher strength to weight ratios compared to traditional steel cables. They are more resistant to corrosion and fatigue, extending the lifespan of the cables and reducing the likelihood of breakage. Additionally, synthetic cables are easier to handle and replace, further enhancing the efficiency of maintenance operations. Future improvements are focusing on further integrating automation and artificial intelligence AI, into arresting gear systems. AI can analyze vast amounts of data collected from sensors on the arresting gear and aircraft, optimizing the braking process in real time. This not only increases the precision of each arrestment, but also provides valuable insights for continuous system improvement. Virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, are being incorporated into training programs for deck crews. These technologies create immersive training environments where crew members can practice emergency procedures, such as responding to cable breakages in a safe and controlled setting. This enhances their readiness and effectiveness during real-life incidents. Moreover, research is ongoing into developing self-healing materials for use in arresting gear components. These materials can automatically repair minor damages, further increasing the durability and reliability of the system. The incorporation of nanotechnology is also being explored to improve the wear resistance of critical components, extending their operational lifespan. Number 6 personal accounts and heroic actions. During a cable break incident, the actions of the crew and pilots are often nothing short of heroic, showcasing their training, quick thinking, and bravery. On March 18, 2016, aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, the arresting cable snapped during the landing of an E-2C Hawkeye. This incident is a prime example of such heroism. Lieutenant Matthew Noodle Halliwell, the pilot of the E-2C Hawkeye, demonstrated exceptional skill and composure under pressure. As the cable broke, the aircraft momentarily dipped towards the ocean, a terrifying moment that could have resulted in a catastrophic crash. Halliwell and his crew had only seconds to react. 
they immediately applied full throttle to regain altitude, successfully preventing the aircraft from plunging into the sea. Their quick decision-making and precise execution exemplified the high level of training and professionalism of naval aviators. On the flight deck, the situation was equally dire. The recoiling cable whipped across the deck, injuring several crew members. Despite the chaos, the flight deck crew responded with remarkable speed and coordination. Medical teams rushed to tend to the injured while others worked to secure the deck and assess the damage. The crew's ability to maintain order and continue their duties amidst the pandemonium was critical in managing the crisis. One particularly notable story involves a deck crew member who, upon seeing the cable snap, immediately pushed a fellow sailor out of the cable's path, saving his life but suffering serious injuries himself. This act of bravery highlights the selflessness and camaraderie among the crew as they often put their lives on the line for one another. The aftermath of the incident also saw significant acts of leadership. Senior officers quickly organized debriefings and ensured that all crew members received the support they needed. This included psychological counseling to help them cope with the trauma of the incident. Their leadership ensured that the crew could recover mentally and physically, maintaining the ship's operational readiness. These personal accounts of bravery and quick thinking are a testament to the rigorous training and resilience of the U.S. Navy personnel. They not only highlight the dangers faced during flight operations, but also the extraordinary measures taken by individuals to protect their comrades and ensure the mission's success.